The U.S. military and knowledge have effectively drawn up a primer target rundown to strike in light of another compound weapons assault in Syria. As indicated by CNN, who referred to U.S. organization authorities, the military are prepared to react rapidly at any minute on the off chance that U.S. President Donald Trump chooses to dispatch another strike against the Syrian government. They added that no choice to make a move has yet been made. Recently, the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said that there was presumably that the fear-based oppressors in the Syrian area of Idlib were planning for a false signal substance assault which they would then fault on the Syrian government. Lavrov alongside Syria's UN agent Bashar Jafari both say that proof has just been exhibited to the UN and the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons OPCW. Russia is said to have additionally as of now gave the information to the US. RT reports, however, the knowledge specialists as of now gathered focusing on information of what they portrayed as concoction weapons offices, the media outlet, CNN, revealed. It comes as the Pentagon is apparently occupied with a full-scale data war, as it intensely denies all announcements alluding to a potential false signal synthetic weapons assault, which Russia says is being set up by psychological militants in Syria's Idlib. The U.S. military has blamed Moscow for spreading lies by uncovering this data and proposing that the assault could be utilized to legitimize another U.S. strike on Syria. Russia has as of late propelled a concentrated disinformation battle to ruin the United States and worldwide accomplices and partners. Specifically, Russia has recommended that as an appearance for United States strikes against the Assad administration. Helpful associations in Syria were arranging a synthetic weapon assault. This is foolish, a Pentagon representative, Commander Sean Robertson said on Friday. On Tuesday, Russia's defense ministry said that the synthetic compounds to be utilized in the phony assault had been as of now conveyed to psychological oppressors in the territory with the help of the questionable White Helmets gathering, which Moscow has blamed for having joins with fear mongers. CNN sources in the interim, communicated their worries that the Russian powers in the area may get ready to shoot U.S. rockets down, in this manner foiling Washington's assault against Damascus. On Saturday, the Russian military will begin seven days in length practice in the Mediterranean, including 25 ships and key planes. Moscow has clarified that it's taking extra security measures in the midst of increased pressures in the Idlib region, which it portrayed as a hotbed of fear-mongering.